舞台は寝台神秘残り最後の時代魔獣スクーウルクの地で最大の悪が目を覚ますフェイトグランドオーダー第7得意点絶対魔獣戦線バビロニア Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Fate, Grand Order, Absolute Demonic Front, Babylonia. Uh, the sea has turned to mud. The same mud that is in the Holy Grail. Angry Mango blood. Mud. Blood mud? Mud blood. Harry Potter. We're on a chapter called Demise, which I'm sure is going to go wonderfully. Thankfully, it is just a Lancer, so... Let's go with, uh, I know people say, hey, use these characters, but I'd rather get someone who's really good. Like, uh, da, 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 da. Look at all those. Sounds good. Then we're gonna go with Kill Lancer. Move you up to deal the extra damage. Okay, sounds good. And let's switch these two sounds good let's go see what we're dealing with here section 16 demise that's a happy title massive amount of magical energy signatures emerging from the persian gulf they're spreading across all of mesopotamia at incredible speeds what about a rook how long will it take them to reach a rook excuse me for cutting in ishtar i'm called supervisor davinki Romani is going to concentrate on analyzing these life farms, so I'll be in charge now. Really nice to meet you, but no more pleasantries. Just tell us what's going on. Okay, we've observed close to 100 million of these life forms. Only a fraction of them have emerged from the ground. Rough search shows that there are about 100,000 right now. Of those, 20,000 are headed for a rook. ETA is under three hours. At this rate, a rook will be under attack in less than half a day. Eridu has been already been attacked. Ur has been about an hour. Assuming some of them drop in on Lagash, Gursu, and Uma along the way, I estimate about 10,000 will reach a Rook. 10,000? 10, 10,000 monsters at Ugalu's level. A Rook can't hold up against that in its current state. Tanner, I'll go on ahead. If I pull out all the stops, I'll be there with time to spare. Let's regroup in a Rook. Have Quetzalcoatl I'll pick you up along the way. Ishtar just left for a Rook on her own. I can hear her breaking the sound barrier. What should we do without Merlin, Anna, and Ishtar? Many people helped us along the way, but now it's just us. You guys should head for the Northern Wall. That's where Quetzalcoatl and Jaguar Warrior are. Also, right now, the Northern Wall is ironically the safest place in Mesopotamia since it's furthest away from the Persian Gulf. I bet a lot of people will be gathering there. Who knows how many people will arrive, but the Northern Wall will remain the most important for fortification. I almost said fornication. That's not the right word. We have to protect it. Let's hurry to the Northern Wall, Mash. Right. Master, I'll carry you and we'll return there as fast as we can. Now's not the time to dwell on Merlin. But didn't he also say, hey, my body's fine, I'll just come back? You two are safe. That is fortunate. Yes, where's that incorrigible Merlin? Merlin is no longer with us, and Anna perished defeating Gorgon. Ishtar has gone ahead to a rook. What are you doing here, Quetzalcoatl? We came to meet up with you. Yes, the demonic beasts of the Northern Wall are all mostly decimated with survivors fleeing into the forest. The battle with Gorgon is over, that's why we came here. So Merlin is gone. I want to say something, but I'll hold my tongue for now. We also detected a disturbance from the sea. We won't make it to a rook in time on foot. So hop aboard my serpent, it'll be a wild ride, but so much faster than traveling on the ground. I thought she was going to throw us. What happened with the axe of Marduk? It's useless now, forget about it. Yes, forget, when the blood fort was destroyed, it's lost its divinity. And I lost about half my divinity, too. I was so ready to tear Merlin a new one for that, yes? You're just as guilty, Tanner. You were right next to me and didn't stop it. So prepare for an earful later. Scree! Scree! Quetzalcoatlus. Oh! Like, wait. Quetzalcoatlus? Isn't that the crazy bird thing? Isn't that the crazy bird dinosaur? Yeah, if you... Okay, look up what Quetzalcoatlus looks like. Wow, that's why she flies in on a pterosaur. Yo, Quetzalcoatlus is terrifying. Oops, we don't have time for a long chat. Now both of us get on that serpent over there. Alright, straight onward to a rook. Hold on tight. Yeah, Quetzalcoatlus is one of the coolest creatures on Earth. It is a giraffe-sized flying bird. Well, flying bird lizard. What is this? What is this? I thought we were going to be spared. I thought if we submitted to the goddess, we wouldn't be killed. 
What a horrible creature. Everyone get outside! Run! Run away! Escape to a Rukuri! There are more warriors left in Ur! They were all sent to Ur to his sacrifices! Oh, no more! Hurry, get away now! Oh! Wh who are you? I have no name. I am a vagabond who has nowhere to go. I just kill and kill and kill the demonic beasts of the wasteland. You gave a night's lodging and a meal to a man who had forgotten even human speech to a madman. This is my repayment. You should escape quickly. These demons are my prey. I will not let anyone else slay a single one. Oh, that's pretty rad. Don't worry. I am just an idiot with a one-track mind, waving a lance around. Dueling to the death with demons from hell is a fitting ending for me. <laughs> but what's this? Is this the result of devouring demonic beasts 24 hours a day, new kinds of prey? Good. I wouldn't have it any other way. This hell is fitting for a man who's become an animal. I can no longer live. I was unable to give up worldly desires and attachments, and I was not even able to reach the state of Musashibo. There is no meaning in trying to attain a state of perfect spiritual concentration. It did not change this man's nature at all. <laughs> Despicable. You demons are as ugly as me. Kill this beast of a man if you can. After that, you are free to eat these fling people to your heart's content. Oh, you're gone. You've gone nuts. What's wrong, you gibbering mob? Did the mouth of hell open up? Why don't you all come at me at once? Picking you off one at a time is unsatisfying. Very courageous, Benki. That's a lot of yelling for a coward. Who's this? Is this is your blood flowing fast, or is your old sense of humor returned? Either way, you're still a noise that should be silenced. Who is this? Who the devil are you? Do not speak to me as if you know me. Impossible, are you? Oh, it's gonna be evil. Oh, it's gonna be, like, corrupted version of Uchiwakamaru. You are in the way. Don't put a damper on our fun. Fool, didn't you say you wanted to die? I shall kill you just as you wish. No, no, ar. Well... Master, we're over a rook. The city of rook is burning. What's with these things? They're endless. And they're diamond hard. Why are they so sturdy? What, Tanner? You got here faster than expected. It's all me. Yes, I went to pick them up. I'm just a big sis who is cleverer than you by half. Is that so? Oh, whatever. I'm glad you're here. There's only so much I could do sniping from the sky. Land in the city and intercept them. Take out as many as you can. Hurry. I'm leaving the sky to you. You look pale, yet you still go in recklessly. You're a big help, though. Thanks. If you land in the city, secure a path to the ziggurat so the citizens can flee to safety there. Also prepare yourselves. The creatures down below are nothing like you've seen before. Be careful not to lose your nerve before you start fighting. Uh, stay back. Get away. Somebody help somebody. Wow. Sat. For a fay roared sask nine for a way. Ow, it hurts. Stop, uh, stop it, please. No more. It's it's ripping me apart. Why it hurts? <laughs> it's the best noise for it. I. Panting. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 no, please stop. Somebody help. God, these guys are just being ripped. <laughs> Mono? <laughs> I wonder if there's actually, like, a way to decipher what they're saying. Are they here? Why? I didn't move. I didn't move at all. I forced myself to stay perfectly still, so why? It's him, it's because he ran away. So wait, do they sense with, like, motion? Don't run away, fight! If we don't stop them here, we won't stand a chance. Everyone attack together, let's kill them one by one together. <laughs> That's certainly noises that it's making. It's no good, we're not even making a dent. Spears and arrows just bounce off them. What are these creatures? <laughs> That's as far as you go, monster. Right, commencing combat with these unknown life forms, master. Hey, monster, you don't belong in this world. 
It was not by my hand I was brought back to Boogie Down. Is what he would sound like if he was speaking English. Oh God. Oh, I don't like that. No, 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 no. No, 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 I take it back. I really don't like how these things look. Mmm, don't like that. Okay, so there's only one at least. Yeah, I, I heavily dislike how these things move and exist. Creepy battle theme, too. See how we do. Oh, I don't like their movements. Now, here's the only thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna place a bet in the anime. And you guys can tell me if I'm wrong or not, because it's not really a spoiler. But I bet you in the anime version of this, these things are CGI. Just to play up the fact that they look wrong and out of place in this world. Also, we don't even need a super. Oh. Interesting. Okay, when they roar, another one appears? Huh. Huh. I wonder how many will come out. It says one remaining, but is it really? Hmm. I, I bet you we're going to get at least one more. So you don't even know how many there are going to be then, which is terrifying in its own right. Okay. Get some stars too, along with the fact that you're doing some combos. Okay, roaring again, and an oh god, how many? Like, here you thought it would just be one, but it's not. It's way more. Okay, we'll see how many. I don't know. I was like, one of these guys shouldn't be a threat, and then as it goes on, it's like, uh, well, I don't actually know anymore. Let's try and get meter with everyone here for supers. Let's see here. Saber Lily is gone. Okay. Um. Don't necessarily want to use. Hmm. You know what? Do this and let's hold on to that with him. Okay. Let's see how we do. Aaron died him up. Yeah, terrifying battle theme too. Extra laugh, remove buff, that sucks. Okay, well. Finish you off here. Yeah, you can definitely do 30,000. That's it? Okay. It was three. Ooh, okay. These things are... Hey, I need dust, so that's good. I needed them for one other thing where I, like, ran out of Void's dust, and I'm like, man, I just need more. I think it was for ascending someone. I'll check that out after. Well, that's a lot of them. The enemies are multiplying as we fight them. If one of them is almost too strong, if this keeps up, there's a limit to how many we can handle. They're just overwhelming, huh? <laughs> the enemies are all just walking away. 
Did they reach their active limit? It didn't look that way, but it didn't look like they had a chain of command either. It's like one of them got bored, and the others saw it and they followed. They look like soldier ants with no intellect or individuality. By the way, this gives us a little bit of breathing room. Let's go to the ziggurat. Gilgamesh should know what's going on. Let's talk to him first. We just get there and Gil's like, everything's screwed. Move the surviving citizens beyond the northern wall. We'll use Dnieper as a temporary refuge base. Again, there's no need to recruit soldiers from the refugees. Only those born warriors need to stay in Aruk. At last, the day of destruction is upon us. We have two days more at most. That fool Merlin hastened the destruction I first saw by in Aruk by a full day. But there's no need for you to die along with Aruk. If you can make it to Dnieper, perhaps you can survive. Those who wish to live, head towards the northern wall. If you wish to fight, then die for Aruk's sake. You have until evening. Say your farewells to your friends and families. King, King Gilgamesh. So you're back, Chaldeans. Look like you succeeded in defeating Gorgon. Hmm? You don't look so good. Are you tired, or have you seen too many things you wish you hadn't? Will you rest a little? No one will object to that. No, please continue, King Gilgamesh. I see. Very well, then. Ishtar, Quetzalcoatl, and Jaguar Warrior, who I've heard so much about. Ha! <laughs> so you're a Jaguar Warrior. I don't know how to handle this sudden popularity. I'm having mixed feelings about this warm welcome. <laughs> don't say that. It's been tough here recently. I needed someone to laugh at. Now I'm even more confused. Should my feelings be hurt? Give me your report, Tanner. Tell me everything that happened at the Demonic Front. Whoa, boy, you have no idea, pal. I've seen things that you won't believe. I see, so Merlin's dead. Undefeated in real life, he was crushed inside a dream. That's a fitting end for him. The evils of humanity. Is that definitely what Merlin said? Yes, he said that the Mage King summoned one of the seven evils of humanity to this land. Um, King Gilgamesh, what is an evil of humanity? And there are seven of them? What, you're not aware of them? I had thought you'd found the answer to that in your journeys. The seven evils of humanity, as the name suggests, are humanity's stigmas. A series of disasters that destroy humanity. The more humanity develops, the stronger they become, like a cancer eating away at society from within. You could call them stagnant pools within human history. Do you mean those who seek revenge like Gorgon, beings that would destroy humanity through animosity? The opposite, beautiful one. Oh, da oh suave. <laughs> yeah, Davinky, uh, you, you have a thing? Okay. The evils of humanity are not evils that destroy humanity. They are the evils that humanity destroys. Evils that humanity destroys? Indeed. <laughs> I'll let the appropriate person explain when the time comes. Just know they are disasters that threaten human history. Humanity's self-destruct system and safeguard, and the basis for heroic spirit summoning. The seven evils of humanity manifest and exist as spirit origins. There are seven disasters created by humanity's bestial nature. Thus, their class is beast. That's interesting. That is very interesting. I definitely remember hearing people say something about beast class. But obviously I had no... So when I heard that, I, I actually thought it was referring to Angry Mango's, like, wolf form. But that is not the case. This is what the Mage King has awoken. One of them, at any rate. Hold on, the Primordial Sea could only mean Mother. Are you saying this abnormality wasn't caused by the Mother of Gods? By the Goddess Tiamat? Fool, I'm telling you that Tiamat is one of the beasts. Our foe is quite literally a Primordial God. A beast class... Seven evils of humanity. So that's our foe now? Indeed, it's a name for all the beasts of disaster. The beast in this land does not seem to have awakened completely. You have no readings on it, right, Chaldeans? Yeah, King Gilgamesh is right. I don't see a spirit origin signature that terrible anywhere. As for possibilities, you know, I probably shouldn't have to tell you where it is. I bet it's inside that darkened Persian gulf, yes. We could see it from the sky on our way to a rook. There were so many strange things coming out of the Black Sea. What are those, Gilgamesh? I have no idea. Everyone we captured just melted away. Thus, I'll turn to you instead. How about it, Romani Archimen of Chaldea? Uh, sheesh, I just finished my analysis. Though it's within the limitations of what I can do from here. We're short on time, so I'll just get to the conclusion. They're made from what you call the base for the Mesopotamian world. Sand and soil of the Age of Gods. The mud of Gods. These beings don't exist in our genealogical tree. 
Since there's no difference between males and females, we can assume they reproduce asexually instead of sexually. Well, <laughs> it's better than what was going on with the Gorgon, am I right? Um, from their internal structure, it seems they're currently in a larval state. Meaning they're going to change even more. Oh god. They emit so much magical energy because their magical circuits are those of beings from the Age of God. Think of them as mass-produced in Kidus. Oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez. So I've named them Lamu. It was the name of Tiamat's first child and means mud. Wait, is he actually good at his job? He even got the name Lamu right? Hmm. Lamu, eh? I was thinking the same thing. We're on the same page, Doctor. And then there's the idiot trying to take all the credit. We shall now refer to these creatures from the sea as Lamu. Sea do- No, you, Captain. Inform everyone of the name Lamu. It'll make communication easier later on. Oh, where's Siduri? Forget about Siduri. We need to deal with the Lamu now. Did she die off screen? They've spread across Mesopotamia and attacked many cities. They're not just slaughtering, but kidnapping people too. Our reports show that those kidnapped by the Lamu were taken to Eridu. The Lamu have taken advantage of Quetzalcoatl's absence to make a nest in the jungle. Veo, I need to file a complaint about them personally. Was Ur taken over as well? So it seems, I don't know why, but after attacking a rook they left for Eridu. The demonic beasts had a tendency to sleep at night, perhaps they're the same. Whatever the reason, that's their nest, but we can ignore that. Our target is that blackened sea. If Tiamat awakens, it's over. Well, actually, it's over already, isn't it? That's fine, everyone has accepted that this is the end. Huh? Master of Kaldi, if a rook falls, the foundation of humanity will com collapse completely. Even the singularity will burn to ash and Kaldi will disappear in the flames as well. If you don't want that to happen, then fight on to the end. Go to the observation point near the sea and investigate. Where did Siduri go? If you're worried about Siduri, she attempts to protect the people from the Lamu and was captured, that's all. King Gilgamesh, why didn't you tell us? We understand your position, King Gilgamesh, but if Siduri was taken, then we need to hurry. <laughs> King Gilgamesh, you jackass nitwit! Well said, fools, then I order you to investigate Eridu. I cannot leave this place, so have Jaguar Warrior be your messenger. Rad! You have one day. Finish things in a day and return to me here. Uh, King Gilgamesh, we, you're letting us save her? Don't be so arrogant, foreigners. I've said from the start that your lot were unnecessary. I never considered you part of a rook's forces. If you can't be used, then it doesn't matter. I was planning on sending an investigation team to Eridu anyway, but now you've saved me the trouble. Well, if you don't consider us part of your forces, then what were all those orders you gave us? Hmm. <laughs> That's a different matter. I'm a king. Kings give orders. It's only natural. Now hurry, I leave it up to you how to handle my kidnapped citizens. Go to Eridu and find out what the Lamu want. It may help us defeat Tiamat somehow. I, I just love the one small thing about Gilgamesh, who apparently loves no one, be calling Gil the beautiful, or calling, um, the beautiful one. Um, Da Vinci. It's great. What's going on, Solomon? Mother awakened, so why hasn't she appeared at the surface? The seal. There's a seal over her, Kingu. She is bound, bound by that great sea. You elevated the stray Gorgon to godhood, and the chain summoning brought Quetzalcoatl. And then there was a Reshkigal summoned by the sacred temple of Uruk. You brought them all into a rivalry through an alliance, and at the same time kept the king of Uruk at bay. Splendidly done, you are indeed worthy of praise. But it's not enough, your job isn't done, Kingu. Humanity is destroyed, but its history remains. Break the seal on Tiamat and wipe out all the life forms in a rook. If that happens, even the singularity itself will disappear. Human history will end there in that era, even without my intervention. At last, I have the light bands from all of time and space. All that's left is for you to drop the crushing blow upon humanity. Yes, as promised, we will take this era. Only humanity will be destroyed. Mother will make a new world and I will take over as the first new human. That was the one wish of Tiamat after she was abandoned by humanity. Wonderful, I hear your conviction, Kingu, and have the power to make your words reality. I will support you, but... But only if that's what she really wants. Hmm. If that's what she really wants, don't be stupid, of course it is. That's why Tiamat created me, that's why she trusted me and gave me the grail. Well, we'll see about that. Stop it, stop it, please stop! Yeah, 
It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. I can't do it. Humans can't move that way. Oh, God. I. They killed another one? Is that how they think observing humans is done? They don't know how to control themselves. They're lower than demonic beasts. They toy with and destroy them and grin with those teeth. The noise they make is like human laughter. How crude. Why did Mother create such things? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. They're merely soldiers. I am all the world needs. I don't need companions or family, not even friends. For I am the one true and complete new man, but... It's no good. I can't hear Mother's voice. Before, I was able to hear her sobbing when I closed my eyes, but since the sea turned black, I can't hear anything. Then I will have to break the seal, just like Solomon said. But who on earth has the ability to bind the primordial mother? I don't know, man. Woman? New man? New man, new man, eh? New man, new man, eh? I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, new song. Oh, God. This is going in a direction I didn't expect. The new humanity. Jeez. Yeah, I definitely didn't think that this would go... This way. But then again, you know what? Then again, I really didn't expect... Um, I didn't expect Camelot to go the way it did at all either, so... I'm liking these twists. They're making me happy. Nobody's at the gate. All the lights in the city have gone out. Rook was so lively, but now... That's right, so much was lost in a single day, yes. But look at that road, Mash. All the fires that light the night are strewn together to look like a river. The survivors are forming caravans and heading for the northern wall. And the soldiers are still at the walls carrying those artillery platforms just as the king ordered. Rook isn't finished yet. Everybody's doing what they can. Yes, I'm glad you're willing to mourn, but now's not the time yet. It's okay, a Rook will survive this too. After all, they've gotten through the floods and famines just fine. Well, haha, -ha, that means a lot coming from the goddess who plunged a Rook into seven years of famine. What are you trying to say I'm the only one who's allowed to destroy a Rook? What do you call that again? I think meow it. I think I meow it. I think it's a phase you hear in the 21st century. Shut up, Tiger. I don't want to hear you say anything starting with self. Hmm. Eh. We've arrived at Urmaster. I don't see anyone. Servant's presence? Do I smell a lingering scent? I don't see them. Did they leave or were they killed? No, look at this disaster. Can the Tanner see it? Hey, cats, what's up? No, I was just being silly. Yes, I'm sorry, Master Mash. I was going to tell you not to look in the houses, but that's making light of everything you've been through so far. None of the people in Ur survived. Everyone was killed in their homes. What? This is now beasts kill. They've been ripped apart, but nothing's missing. The people of Ur were killed for no reason. Not from hunger, anger over territory. They were killed simply because someone wanted to try killing them. This never happens in nature. I guess it's what humans would call murdering for the pleasure of it. Why? Why would they do this? The people of Earth chose not to resist. There was no reason to kill. There was no reason for them to be treated like this. That's right, the Lamu don't even have digestive organs. They have no reason to attack other creatures. They have all they need to survive within them, and yet they attack others, which means... We can talk later. The Lamu are here. What are they dragging? Mash! Roger, Master, engaging enemy Lamu. They're dragging something? Bodies, probably? Oh, God. Oh, so... Be beasts were one thing. Like, uh, these, like, you know, animals were one thing. But these things are... the worst. These things are spooky. I don't like the way they move! I really don't. Let's 
do this to get Mordred as much meter as we can. Okay. Um, this gives you meter, right? Nope. This one, though? This one? This one does. Yes, good. I was gonna say, one of them should. I'll give this to you. Try and just do as much as we can to start off with. Okay. I mean, the good news is they're Lancers, which means we can use Sabres on them. Wow. Well, you're done. No roar, that's good. Okay, let's do this next. Do some of these. Okay, give yourself some more. Okay. We're gonna do... Like that to kill the next one. God, and if these are just the larva forms, I'm real f scared to think about what the mature forms are. Good hits, but still needs more for sure. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's go. Like that. Okay, we can get Lilies going. Okay. Guess if this if this doesn't kill them both, which it probably won't, honestly, we'll get to see what their super move is. Which that she wasn't very good. What's with their creepy legs too? I don't like it. Actually, this might... Oh, no, this'll kill. Nice. Okay. Again, more dust is definitely welcome. And at least we have a good place to get the dust from now. Because that was something that I was, like, running out of. And I was like, I don't even know where to get it from. Because I only ever got it as rewards for events and stuff. <laughs> I got more serious than I intended to, but no more re no repentance means no forgiveness. No mercy for these evil Diablos. I'm bad for a jaguar. Was that your true nature? Yeah, I guess so. I guess I can't stay a tiger in a situation like this. Okay, I'm back to normal. <laughs> the little pop is so funny. But now's not the time to for that, so feel free to ignore me. Of course, we're headed straight to Eridu. They're transforming so quickly, we need to save the kidnapped people fast. This is creepy. This is legit, like, creeper. Like, this is good for Halloween, because this is giving me, giving me the, the creeps feelings. Okay, so what I was going to check, like I said, I got the Void's Dust. Who can we ascend now? Who was it? Oh, it was, it was Betty! Betty Bed, that's who it was. I was going to say. Hey! Betty with the white arm. His arm changes in each one. Nice. Okay, so let's also give you then. Honestly, out of everyone that we have, I'm fine with you getting some some more levels. Cause I need another good. I need another good. Uh, you know, you're only three stars, but you're a solid three stars. So I want another good, strong, uh, Saber class. Probably only gonna need a couple more here. Let's see, is this enough? Are we gonna get a super success to bring it up? Nope. Okay. Maybe let's start with these guys, because don't need them. There we go. Well, is the one gonna be enough anyways? Nope. Okay. Sounds good. Alright. 
Level limit Bye. reached. So now we just need one more um, of the medals for him. Then we can get him done up a bit more. Nice. Okay, well, good to know. Eridu. Even the phrase, the new humanity, fills me with kind of an existential dread, you know? Um, another strong Mordred is welcome to just rip and tear through him. We've arrived at Eridu. I sense people. What's all this commotion? Picking up signals of life. 500, no, 600 people. The ones who were kidnapped. They're being gathered in the plaza. What about the Lamu? They're there too, of course. Over 200 of them. It's a fraction of the forces, but we're still hopelessly outgunned. I know how you all feel, but proceed with caution. There's no time to waste. If they're being gathered up, we have to assume the worst. Calm down. I'm not saying to f I'm not saying not to fight Mash. You'd act decisively, understand the situation, and attack from the best possible position. The most we can take at a time is four. We need to find a weak point or something before we can face them head on. There's a Lamu in front of us. It spotted us. Just one? Then engage. Neutralize before it calls the others. Is it actually going to be part of the gameplay where you have to do it before he does the roar? If so, that's scary that I have to try and do that because if I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Thankfully, thankfully... With a kaleidoscope, I can do some good stuff with, uh... It's, it's literally one, yeah. Okay. Start with this. Sure, yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And then we'll go do this as well. And give yourself some... That. Okay, we're gonna go... Actually, we're gonna go like this. To get meter for you two to get yours going because then mordred next time can do um her meter plus the thing so we'll see here huh is that him oh okay this might be a problem Let's see, we're gonna try and kill him as quick as possible. We're gonna do... Let's try this. Can we do 300,000 in a single turn? We'll see. Okay, that was not close. Okay, God, we are not we are not killing him this turn. Two. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Mm. Eee! Don't don't know. Okay, but is he actually doing stuff? I don't actually know. Oh god, is this one like trying to communicate with us? Oh god. Is this a moment where we're like killing Siduri? I swear. Oh god, we totally are, aren't we? Okay, let's try here. We're totally killing someone that is trying to call for help, I bet. Okay, well, they fled, which is weird. Okay. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting bad feelings. I'm getting the spook feelings.
<laughs> that Lamu was strange, huh? Ran away without doing anything. Guess it was different than the other Lamu. Maybe there's a difference in their personalities? The most it did was raise its hand to scare us. Even if it doesn't put up a fight, they're dangerous other ways. They're a colony. They might be trading information using their super senses. You'll all be in danger if you can't stay hidden. Follow it and finish it off. Don't. Never mind that Lamu. Let's hurry to the plaza. Ishtar? Um, what is it? Just do it. We don't have time to spare, right? It's hard to be difficult, but we can't just idly watch anymore. We're going into the plaza before it's too late. That was totally Siduri. Aww. Aww. Ah, jeez. That's a bad word. But you'll be very helpful with your super here. Oh, boy. Aw, it's been ruined! Panting. I did it, I did it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I did it, I did it. This is what you wanted, right? Once I'm the only one left, you'll let me go, right? What? No? <laughs> Should I kill you even if you kill the others? What do they want from us? How do we survive? Damn it, damn it, run, die, please! No! This is bad, they're making humans kill each other. They make them kill each other in groups of ten, and then laugh as they kill the last survivor. Master your orders! Yo, we gotta save them! I agree, I was naive to say we should wait and see. Let's call out annihilate the ones outside the plaza. I was saving my divinity, but now I'll blow these things away at full power. You back up, Tanner. Claro, I've reached my boiling point too. This time I'm really gonna rip out their hearts. These things are messed up, yo. It's like... It's like they're, like, they're toying with people. Like, what's worse than beasts? Well, I guess it's almost like humans, though, right? Like, the, like they're, they're, they're being like humans in the way that they... In the way that they just torture humans. It's the worst. It's so bad. Okay. We'll try our best here to get Mordred's meter up here. Okay. Um. I'll get rid of the first one. Okay. You got your meter. You can kill one of them. Probably with a super combo. Um. Go. So let's go. Yeah, let's do that just to get your C stars too. Okay, we're gonna do. No, let's go after this guy in the back. Yeah, like that. Cause try and try and clear out the ones so that they don't use their super attacks, you know. It's a lot of damage. It's pretty good. Didn't even need that second buster. Okay. Oh, geez, stop getting rid of my buffs. Okay, um, we need to get rid of this guy now. Let's try and do this as much as we can. We, I kind of want Lily to just get hit once to get her super meter. Okay, just, just, just do a little, little hit on Lily. Thank you. Nope, one more. Maybe not. Okay. Um... You know what? Let's do this. Let's now go with you and go... Like that. Come on. Ah, yeah, you got this. Good, Lily got hers. Okay. We're after this guy. And this one. To get meter back would be cool. Okay. 
I wonder if the amount of HP you get back goes up for how much damage you do. Probably not. I don't think it's like 2,000 each. It's probably just kind of like a base 2,000, right? Let's see here. Yeah, roughly. Okay. Okay, now this guy's out, so... Ah, so close. That's fine. We'll do this. And this... Okay, so... Time for big, dumb combat. I love the detail that it always takes off the helmet. Because that was a thing in um, Apocrypha. Nice. Also, no lack of dust now. For sure. Getting a lot of that. Okay. There's a saber here now, huh? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with you, Poggers. Bring you up, bring you up, and actually switch you out for my own gill. Right? Well... Actually, my gill's more powerful. That's straight Poggers. Let's do that then. So he'll help out in the first part, I guess. What is a saber gonna be, though? Everyone, please run toward the jungle. We'll draw these monsters away. Okay, thank you. Thank Ak! Why? I'm the, I'm the one who's a threat to you. <laughs> What's going on? Do the Lamu care more about killing the prisoners? Killing their prisoners than their own lives? There's no point, it's a tangle of contradictions. The Lamu are perfected beings as an organism. There's absolutely no reason for them to fight for survival or attack other things. These little... What are you doing? I'm asking you. What are you doing gathering those old humans? Oh. Can you attack the Lamu? Seems so. That saved us, too. But their behavior has obviously changed for the worse. I sense a storm brew in Tanner. Answer me. Why do you do such pointless things? And you call yourselves the children of the primordial mother Tiamat? It's all right to attack a rook. It's all right to kill the enemy. But why kill without purpose? Those humans would never become a threat to us. Eventually, Tiamat would have killed them herself. They don't matter. I will not allow such pointless behavior from the new humans. Your behavior is completely foolish. I don't want to admit it, but Mother must have slipped up after awakening so suddenly. You are all just defects, even lower than Gorgon's demonic beasts. Fine, if you understand them, fall back. None of none of you is a match for Quetzalcoatl. You may be no better than trash, but you are Mother's children, my brothers. I can't stand by and let you die. Brothers? You and the Lamu? That is correct, as much as I hate to admit it. They are just soldiers that were simplified and mass-produced based on me. And I am the one and only child of Tiamat that was created as a commander, so it's natural that I'm different from them. Master, this person is, um... <laughs> Kingu, you dumbass! Nice! Kingu, you are not one of Tiamat's children. Tiamat may have created you, but you were not born from her. You said your body was made using Enkidu as a template. That is not the case. Your body is Enkidu's actual deceased body. You are probably a synthetic demonic beast made from Kingu's corpse. What did you say? You are not a new human. You are probably created just to awaken Tiamat. Nonsense. Even if that were true, what's wrong with that? Even if I weren't born from Mother, she still gave me life. I am her son. This body, I don't know a thing about Enkidu. They're nothing to me. I don't even have a record of their past. And what's wrong with that? All I need to exist is my own purpose in serving Mother. 
Any other notions or extraneous sentiments are useless. I'm just a puppet who works for Tiamat. That is me. King who is just a puppet made for that purpose. Choo! What? Do you have something to... Kishi! Kishi shishi! Kishi shishi 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 shishi! I told you all to stop. What is so funny? It... Obvious. Because watching you funny. Because this is fun. Fun, fun, fun. Killing humans really fun. You can speak? Mother, order us. Go learn as new humans. How to be human. Concept of humans. Become more like humans. This is the result. To act like humans. Amazing. Fun. 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 Killing humans. Very fun. You all are. And you are very boring. Oh. What? Why you? What are you? I am the same mother's child. Hi, can we get that grail, please? The Holy Grail, I'm detecting the Holy Grail's signal inside Kingu. So Kingu was the one storing the Holy Grail. Morgan was receiving the power of the Grail through him. But why would the Lamu steal that by ambushing Kingu? Jaguar, got it. You're not going anywhere. You no need anymore. We will take this. Oh God. Bellamu? It is our job to wake Mother. Kingu, you are obsolete. Now die here. The Lamu has swallowed the Holy Grail and transformed. Those are wings. It's no use, Senpai. The thing is specialized in flying. It'll escape. I won't let it. We'll leave the small fry to you, Kotal. We'll go and take down that thing. Be careful. That thing is a magical reactor core within its body. The amount of magical energy is incredible. This is... This is freaking insane. How does this gotcha game have such a good story? Like, holy crap. Okay, well... Okay, let's start by... Start by killing you guys. Like, for real. This game... It's so good. Don't hit Gil, please. Thank you. Okay, let's go... Like this to kill the guy in front. Good. If that didn't crit, we would have been in trouble. Oof, okay. So now let's go... Hmm, actually let's go like this. Let's do this with a full combo. Okay. Stop. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll go this. And we'll go... Erendite, Caliburn, Buster. Okay, let's try here. Good. And now this will definitely kill the one in the back, but the one in the front, maybe not. No, it looks like it did. No, well... There we go. Okay. Oh god, it's horrible! Again, it's like, what am I looking at? What am I even looking at? Okay, well, let's do... This, because we got you here... With that... Okay, try and do as much damage as you can. Screw 
scornful laugh. Oh, that sucks. Well, that's confirmation. It's like, don't expect to get, you know, meter up here. Okay. Okay. Let's go... Go wild! Okay. Boy, it's nice having... Just someone who's so powerful here. That's... That's a good numbers, some good numbers. <laughs> well, he jumped away. That wasn't a death. Oh yeah, there's new master missions. Hey, two of those. Oh boy. Oh, wow. Ugh. No use, no use. No hollow growl. No more mother's voice. Can't hear. You're useless. King of useless. King of pitiful. Very pitiful. Pitiful. Pitiful is amusing. Pitiful is amusing. Ludicrous and amusing. King of fun. Not realize. You are the absolute one. Why? You mass produced little. This wasn't how it was supposed to be. I'm the ultimate weapon of this era. He ran! He ran! <laughs> hunt, hunt, let's break. All type. It's a little bit pieces. Fun, fun, seeing you struggling is fun! A transformed llama has fled into the sky. You're gonna get away. You try to outrace me, bring it on, I'll take you on. Uh uh? Oh, jeez. Hey, get off me, you! Sorry, Kotal. Go with Tanner. Come, my Quetzal Quadlas. Tanner, get on MASH, too. Okay, we're going after it. Jaguar, evacuate and protect the citizens and report to the king. Raguar. Gotcha. I hate it. Wait, King is still there with that injury. He won't be able to escape the Lamu. It's too late. Forget him. We're at max capacity. This is all we can do. King whose life is in his own hands now. We have to go after that llama. Its destination is probably the ocean. If we lose it, everything ends. Yeah, it's kind of an important thing. Like, uh, I'm sure saving King U, bringing him to our side, is something you'd like to do, Mash, but that is not happening right now. That is definitely not happening right now. Okay. That's a lot. What's the question mark, too? That's a lot. Okay, well, um, honestly, probably not going to be getting to doing more tonight because I'm tired and I'm not doing another four hour thing like last time. So yeah, we're not doing that right now. Instead, you know what? I'm going to, so I'm feeling fairly lucky. Let's see. Let's grab a couple things from here. You know, just in case, just in case. That'd be kind of cool if something were to happen here. Just saying, you know. Even if I don't end up using anything here, but it'd be real cool if it was possible that I get something that could be very, very helpful that I want to get on camera. It's probably not going to be anything, so I'm going to keep going. And if I fade away to nothing now, then I get nothing by the end of this quick little summoning session. But if I don't cut to something, then you'll get to it. So you get to see it. So yes, so thank you all and see you guys next time for some more. Ciao!